Around 80 large wildfires have ravaged some 13 U.S. states in the West. Hundreds of thousands of hectares of forest have been destroyed. The two worst hit states are Oregon and California. Wild animals are trying to flee the fires, and local authorities say some residents have been forced to evacuate for their own safety. That's the only house I've ever known. I was born and raised in that house, so it's like, don't want to lose it. The most aggressive fires are ravaging on the border between Oregon and Northern California. Fortunately, there's not a lot of people that live in those particular areas. And had those same fires occurred in the more populated parts of uh, the country, it would have been complete and absolute devastation. Over 20,000 rescuers are working on the ground, in the air, and even from specialized trains, trying to put out the deadly fires. Local authorities, though concerned about the situation, are promising to do all in their power to deal with the grave situation. We have more than 2,000 personnel working on the bootleg fire alone. Our heroic firefighters, logistical experts, communications and operations professionals. Federal resources have been called in and teams from Utah and California are partnering with us in this fight. Even though the area is not new to wildfires, this season is particularly bad, say experts. In the Western United States, we're under just exceptional, terrible drought. And so the, the plant life there is just gasping for water, which makes it really, really easy to burn. And so uh, we have high temperatures and we have very low relative humidities and plants that are very dry. And it's just setting itself up for the perfect storm of just some extreme, extreme fire behavior. The smoke from the wildfires on the West Coast has reached the eastern part of the country. The smoke is traveling almost 5,000 kilometers and it's impacting the eastern United States as far away as New York City. The wildfire season that usually starts in California in the fall has shifted considerably, say scientists. But they add it's natural for the state to experience wildfires. Fire is not this big evil monster that's up there to try to gobble up your children. It's actually a natural process in uh, the ecosystems of the Western United States. Traditionally had occurred every five years or so, very, very low intensity. But because we got really good at putting out fires, all this plant life uh, grew up and then you throw drought on it and there's just not enough water to go around and it's just uh, setting itself up for just terrible, horrific conditions. Scientists add that 90% of fires on the western coast are caused by people. For Angelina Bagdasaran in Los Angeles, NRI's VOA News.